Hello, dear students. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to solve the uh, questions I sent in our lesson, Addition and Subtraction of Integers. So this is the solution of worksheet 2A that I sent this week. Question number one. Classify the following into positive or negative numbers. So we have signed numbers. We should say which of these numbers are positive and which are negative. As we said, the positive numbers are preceded by a plus or they do not have a sign. So any number without a sign is considered as positive. The negative numbers uh, are preceded by a minus, and the zero is considered to be both a positive and a negative. So let me start. Minus six is not positive since it's preceded by a minus. Minus 4.3 is not positive. Plus seven, since it has a plus, so it is a positive number. Minus 0 0.5 is not positive. Plus 2.9 is a positive number. 12, it has no sign, so it's positive. So I write it with the positive. Minus 6 over 11 is negative, of course. 5 over 2, it is a number written as a fraction. What is the sign in front of this fraction since it has no sign? So it's considered as a positive. And the 0, we consider it with both. It is considered as positive. Minus 5.8 is not positive. Plus 3 over 8 is positive. The rest are negative numbers since they are preceded by a minus. So minus 6 is negative. Minus 4.3. Minus 0 0.5. Minus 6 over 11. 0 is considered also negative, And minus 5.8. This is how we classify signed numbers into positive or negative. Question number two, we are given the numerical axis. So you have this numerical axis. I talked about the numerical axis before. On the numerical axis, we have signed numbers. The zero is here. To the right of zero, we have all the positive signed numbers. To the left of the zero, we have all the negative signed numbers. Number one, locate or plot the following points. So we have points. We should locate or plot them on the axis. The point O has an abscessa zero. So as I said in the video, the number that represents each point is called the abscessa of the point. As, and as you can see, we write the abscessa inside parentheses. When locating on the axis, where the point is, I write an X, and then I write the name of the point. So on the number zero, I will locate point O. As you can see, I write an X on the zero where it's located on the axis, and I write the name of the point. P has negative seven. Negative seven is in the negative side, so here is P located. Q plus four, it's located on the plus four on the positive side. So here is Q located. R is negative 10. So here is the negative 10. So here is R located. This is where R is located here on the negative 10. S has six on the positive side. So this is S, it's located on the six. And T is located on the minus one. So here is T located. Number two, what does point O represent for the numerical axis? Also, as I said in the video, point O represents the origin of the axis. What do I mean the origin from O? I always go to the positive side where I want to go or to the negative side where I want to go. Now, part number three, we should write the abscesses of A, B, C, D, and E. As you can see on the axis, I have red points. This is point A. Where is A located? It's located on minus four. So the abscessa of A is minus four. I write A. I open parentheses and I write minus four, it's abscessa. B is located on number minus eight. So the abscessa of B is minus eight. 
C is located on three or positive three. So C has an abscessa three. Please pay attention how we write the abscessa of the point. We write it in between parentheses, not equal three. We should not write an equal here. D is located on positive 10. So I write D has an abscessa 10. And E is located on the negative six. So this is the abscessa of E. Now on part four, what can you say about the two points A and the Q. As you can see, A is located on minus four. So the distance from A to O is four. Q is located on four. So the distance from O to Q is four. A and Q are located at the same distance from O. So we say that the two points A is symmetric of Q or Q is the symmetric of A with respect to O. This is very important. So the two points A and Q are symmetric to each others with respect to O. Again, what does this mean? A and Q are at the same distance from O, so they are symmetric. As if O is the mirror, if A stands on the mirror, it will see itself on Q. What can you say about their abscesses? As I said, the abscessa of A is negative four, the abscessa of Q is four. They have the same number, but one is negative and one is positive, so, so their abscesses are opposite to each other. So they have opposite abscesses. These two questions, most of you solve them wrong when they, they sent me the worksheet solution. So please pay attention to these two questions. Let me continue. In number six, we should name from the axis two other points having opposite abscesses. If I look on the axis, I can see that the two points E and S, E is located on minus six and S is located on six. So they have opposite abscesses, so they are symmetric to each others. R and D, R is located on minus four and D is located on 10. So these are opposite, they have opposite abscesses. Number seven, we should determine the distance from point D to O. This is point D and this is O. As I said, I count the spaces I have from D to O. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the distance from D to O is ten. From O to E, I count one, two, three, four, five, six. So the distance is six. From B to O, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The distance is eight. From A to C, let me count the spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the distance is seven. From E to R, I will count one, two, three, four. As I said, always the distance is positive wherever the point on the axis is. We should find the opposite of a plus eight. Always to determine the opposite of any abscessa, it has the same number, but a different sign. So what's the opposite of plus eight? It is minus eight. The opposite of minus three is three or plus three. The opposite of zero is zero, since zero has no sign. The opposite of a 12, since 12 is a positive number, its opposite is negative 12. Opposite, opposite of five. First, I determine the opposite of five. So what's the opposite of five? It's minus five. So I will determine the opposite of minus five, which is five. Opposite of opposite of minus 12. What's the opposite of minus 12? Uh, sorry, 11. It's 11. So the opposite of 11 is minus 11. Now in exercise number three, we will compare the signed numbers using less than, greater than, or equal. Positive seven and negative four. As I said, any positive number is greater than any negative number. And any negative number is less than any positive number. Zero is less than all positive numbers. So zero is less than seven. 3.6 is a positive number. All positive numbers are greater than zero. Zero is greater than all negative numbers. These are rules I sent 
in my uh, video last week, minus 7.9 compared with zero. All negative numbers are less than zero. Three and nine. If I am comparing two positive numbers, when I am near to zero, the number becomes smaller. So since a three is nearer to zero, so three is less than nine, plus 4.8, plus 4.2, since they have the same whole numbers, I, I compare the decimal part. Eight is greater than two, so plus 4.8 is greater than plus 4.2. Minus nine and the plus nine, as I said, all the negative numbers are less than all the positive numbers. Minus four and minus one. Now in the negative side, if I'm comparing two negative numbers, as I go further from zero, my number becomes smaller. So minus four is less than minus one. Minus five is nearer to the zero. So it's greater than minus 12, minus 13.06 and minus 13.66. 13 is the same as 13. Zero is greater than six. So it's, uh, sorry, zero is nearer to uh, than six to zero. So minus 13.06 is greater than minus 13.66. Now in exercise number four, let's arrange in ascending or increasing order. This means I will arrange the numbers from the smaller to the bigger. I have negative numbers, positive numbers, and zero. As I said before, all the negative numbers are less than zero. So as the negative number is farther from zero, it becomes smaller. So minus 20 is less than minus 11. It is less than minus 6, less than minus 3, less than minus 1, and now comes zero. Now, when I'm comparing positive numbers, the nearer to zero is a smaller. So I will start with five is this less than eight, and eight is less than 11, then 11 is less than 15. Now I'm done. So this is how we arrange in increasing or ascending order. Between the numbers, I write less than, since the number before is less than the number that comes after. Now I'm comparing positive numbers. Of course, the smaller uh, in the positive numbers is zero, so I will start with zero, less than plus one. And the plus one is less than 3.8, less than four, less than six, less than nine, less than 9.008, then comes 9.8, and finally comes 11. Now I'm comparing negative numbers. Also, most of you did this wrong. In the negative side, as I go further from zero, my number becomes smaller. Which one is further from zero? Of course, it's minus 4.9. Then I will write minus 4.7. Now I have minus 4.37. Then minus 4.07, minus 4.0007. And finally, I have minus 4. Now let's read the sentence as well, then answer by true or false. Minus 5 and the plus 7 are two opposite decimal numbers. Of course, know that these, these are not opposite. Of course, one is negative and the other is positive, but they have different numbers, so this is false. Minus 15 and the plus 15 are two numbers of opposite signs. Of course, this has minus and this has plus. This is true. Minus seven and plus seven are two opposite numbers. Yes, since they have the same numbers but different signs. A number is always greater than its opposite. Of course, this is false. The opposite of negative is positive. So the positive is greater than the negative. But the opposite of positive is negative. So this becomes false. The opposite of a number is negative. Of course, no, since the opposite of negative is positive. This is false. Minus 13.4 is less than minus 12.4. Since minus 13.4 is farther from zero in the negative side, of course, this is true. This was the solution of the worksheet that I sent last week. Uh, please correct your mistakes. Uh, watch what I discussed in the video well. And if you have any question, please contact me directly. Bye.